there's nothing I would have done differently, nothing to do differently. You know, I handled it as professional as you can handle it, and I have been a professional from day one there to the last day I left. You were guest hosting uh, in Episode Alive, actor Channing Tatum's on. What about what you did got you the job, and how did you find out you actually got it? Oh boy, the first, first time I ever did that show, I was scared to death. And, and then by the time Channing came on, I had done a few, and I had nothing to lose. Think about it, I was the last guy they were gonna hire. You got Regis Philbin, and you got me? You're not gonna follow Regis Philbin with me, a guy who had no experience in that genre of television, an ex-athlete, a guy, a big six foot five black guy, just ain't gonna happen. So I went in and I didn't have any fear. So when Channing came on for Magic Mike, I was the day before, I'm like, Channing's coming on for Magic Mike, maybe I should say, I'm the real Magic Mike, and I should rip off and do a strip tease, just joking, just like that. I throw it out into the room, and the producer's going, would you be willing to do that? And I'm like, uh, yeah. I didn't think they were gonna be able to pull it off. I'm like, no way, can make pants that quick, that tear away. I forgot, they have costume departments on television. So they made the pants, they did all these things the next day, he comes out and I just go back and I change it to those pants and it was like, here we go. <laughs> and you just got to do it. Those are things I would never do if it weren't for that show and on the show. There's things I do on TV I would never do anywhere else. How did you find out you got the full time? I got called up to the office of, the, of Dave Davis who runs ABC, local ABC station here. And I get called up there and I walk in and it's... Dave, it's Michael Gelman, and it's Kelly. And we sit there and they start some small talk about the history of ABC, and I'm going, okay, why do I need to know the history of ABC? But I'll listen. And then Kelly broke in and just said, hey, we want to know if you consider taking the job full time. And she started talking, and I literally, I did like um, Larry McGuire said, stop. You had me at consider. I wanted it to be memorable. And it was, and that was that, four years, four years of it. Uh, obviously it was tabloid fodder, rumors swirled amid the uh, switch from live to uh -huh. uh, GMA. Hindsight's certainly 2020, but if you had to do it over again, what if anything? Nothing, you... there's nothing I would have done differently, nothing to do differently. You know, I handled it as professional as you can handle it, and I have been a professional from day one there to the last day I left. And I treated it just like I treated my NFL career, just like I treat everything I do. I do everything to the best that I could do, the most respectful way to everybody around me, so that I have no regrets. So when I left there, it was tabloid fodder, but I think that was more for the tabloids and to sell them than it ever was for me, because I left, I slept well, I still sleep well, and I'll wake up now every day and I go to another great job. And live was a great job, a great learning experience for me. But, you know, just like everything else, football was one point in my life. I moved on to sports TV, was moved on to daytime TV, was moved on to morning news. And you, I have the opportunity to do something that most people don't. I get a chance to evolve, to do different creative things. And one day I may wake up and morning TV may not be there. Then it's time to move on to something else. So I always have done everything the best, most respectful way, and I have zero regrets about anything. I was having you know dinner with a Hollywood uh, producer a couple weeks ago, told him I was working on a taping with you, and uh, I'm interested to get your reaction to this because he's like, oh, for the life of me, regardless of the amount of money, I don't understand why uh, Michael would make the switch to uh, GMA because you go from a place where you have your name in the show that you can host the rest of your life if you wanted to being one of several but it's that that's well, not your perspective and so I, I was curious to get your I reaction I think that's a I think that's a way of somebody who's on the outside looking in who doesn't understand and that's also a very selfish way of looking at it and and I, I don't I'm not surprised it came from somebody who's in a business where it's all about it's me I got to get mine I'm not from that business I've got mine by working with other people sports was great I mean sports set me up to where I don't have to work a lot of people don't understand why I work as much as I do. I do it because I love it. I don't do it because I care about the attention. I don't have to do it. I do it for my kids so they see a great example. And I could care less about having my name on the show. 
more eyeballs are on GMA. So when they go, George Stephanopoulos, Robin Roberts, George Stephanopoulos, Michael Strahan, more people see that and see live with Mike Kelly and Michael. I could care less about having my name. If they didn't want to put my name at GMA, I'm fine. I just want to be in great working environments, working with great people, having a great experience, man. And a lot of people think, oh, why would he leave? He wants to host that for the rest of it. Who wants to host something for the rest of it? I don't want to do that forever. It's, you no. Know, people get so complacent. It makes me sick that someone, you know, think, well, you got a good job. You just got to keep it. 